We are out here today on my family's farm to do a little bit of shooting with my 260 Remington. You'll notice there's no scope on top. That's because we've just got the Helix HDLR uh, out of the box. We put some mounts in it. We're going to mount it up and quickly zero the scope. But essentially, we've got the uh, FX True Ballistics chronograph here, which is um, a Doppler radar system that will actually track the bullet out to about 100 meters or so and give you velocity data at different distances. First thing I'm gonna do is actually to mount the scope up because obviously we need the scope on in order to zero it. Make sure my eye relief is good here. Bring it back a little bit. Let's hand tighten these two nuts. And that really looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and torque these down to 68 inch pounds. And there you go, that's the scope mounted. Now, there's two things I need to do here today. One is to obviously zero the scope for the first time, but the other is I've got a whole bunch of new 95 grain VMAXs loaded up for the 260 Remington, and I need to get some, some numbers out of this gun. Um, average velocity, standard deviation, extreme spread, stuff like that. Um, and the average velocity in particular is gonna be really important because I need to set up a ballistic profile for this, for this rifle. But first things first, let's set up the radar and then we'll start with the zeroing process. So the true ballistic chronograph is very, very easy to set up. Comes in a nice soft shell carry case. Open that up, units inside, and you'll see this little threaded tripod screw over here. What this is for is actually mounting it as a base. So it's got four rubber feet, a little wheel on the side. All you do is you turn this wheel to thread into the tripod screw. You can also mount this on a tripod if you want, but today we're shooting off a bench. And there you go. It tilts so you can adjust it in any position you need it. And it's got a little aiming point over here. It's like a little hole, like a straw or something. Put that on your bench, line it up with your target. So there you go, that's the radar set up. And if I tap the power button, there you go, true ballistic chronograph, and it's set up and it says tap power button to activate. The moment I hit that again, it'll start um, sending out a radar signal and I'll be able to trigger the bullet and, and pick it up. So that's awesome. Let's do this. The uh, base here is a 20 MOA tilted base, so it's very likely that I'm gonna have to dial down to zero. So I'm going to remove my zero stop mechanism just to give me that freedom to move down. Just three Allen keys here in the HDLR. And I'll reset this again later once we're done with our zeroing. Because this is 20 MOA base, I'm actually going to give it a full six mils down and that should get us pretty close. I'm going to double check by doing some basic bore sighting. So I'm going to remove my bolt, make sure my cheek piece is low so I can see through the barrel, line the barrel up with my cardboard target over there and I'm going to look through my scope and yep, as expected with that 20 MOA base and going six mils down, I'm more or less on paper. So I should at least hit the cardboard now. That's a good start. Let's put a couple rounds in this magazine. Let's get my cheek piece back to where it needs to be. This is the first time I'm using this and we probably want to configure a few things. Um, so there's four buttons here and on the screen you can see what each of these buttons do so this will be previous next configure etc um, this is usb charged so i've just plugged it in with the usb c cable that's supplied with it at home and charge it up which is awesome you don't need to plug an external power source or have batteries built in or that you buy for this or something you just plug in usb c and charge a built-in lithium battery but to go into configurations we're going to go configure um, the nice thing here, velocity range 400 to 4,000 feet per second. So you don't have to select whether you're shooting with a, an air gun or a, a high power rifle or a rimfire, or whatever. It, it works for everything, so that's awesome. Um, primary unit, feet per second, okay, I want that. 
Secondary unit, you can choose uh, different energies, whatever, so I'm gonna say foot pounds of energy. Weight unit, grain, that's correct. Distance unit, meter, I want meters. And then distance one, distance two, etc. So distance one, 25. Distance two, 50. Distance three, let's make that 75. Oh, increase. There you go. And distance four, let's go 100. 100 meters. Projectile weight, inc decrease. I'm gonna go 95 grains. 95 grains. Barrel offset, zero to 20 centimeters, that's correct. Channel, don't need to do that. Shutdown time, don't need to do that. Drag model, we're gonna go G1 because it's a little vomiting bullet. You can choose G7 also. And the chronograph will actually calculate your ballistic coefficient for you, which is awesome. And then Bluetooth, we're gonna put on and say save. Cool. Now you can see this, it'll show you your different distances, uh, velocities of those distances, and then you can also have it show your foot pounds of energy. So I'm going to leave it on this screen because it'll be pretty cool to see our velocity and our energy. And we're going to also connect to it by Bluetooth with the app so we can, we can uh, see how that works. So what's nice about the app is you can then save all your, your, your shot strings on the app. You can export them, um, you can create graphs with them, you can do whatever you want. Um, you can yeah the, the opportunities are endless and obviously that firmware can be updated but it's a very easy process to connect and i'm just going to leave this right here while i take my shots there you go 3416 feet per second it's showing me my velocities all the way out to 100 meters and it's showing me 2461 foot pounds of energy which is awesome Okay, we were about 0.2 mils to the left and we were about 0.7 mils low. Nice and close to the center, so seven clicks up and we're gonna go two clicks right. And I'm very tempted to shoot those ducks out there, but it's not hunting season for yellowable ducks, so we'll leave them all alone. <laughs> Cool, 3,431 feet per second. And I'm gonna give it another two clicks up. One click to the right. So we'll zero the HDLR. We'll put the zero stop mechanism back in later, but I just wanna make sure I don't lose my place. So there you go, on zero, it's elevation. And then windage, take the cartridge case to loosen that. I'll put this back on zero. And use the cartridge case to tighten that up. There you go, done. So we've just taken a quick five shots here with the air rifle and here's what's so great about the setup. It shows it here on the phone if you want to check a graph of your shot string and see you know how it looks you can go to the shot string section you can export uh, save to your phone send it by email or copy to your clipboard as a CSV file and um, if you want to download the actual numbers to create a graph on let's say Excel or something like that. You can create new strings here and keep shooting with other rifles. You can create profiles for different rifles. So there's my VMAX the other day. And there's the, there's the air gun uh, over there. Now, here's the cool part. If I go next over here, let's go next. 
So there's okay, that's incorrect because my bullet weight was still set for the for the V for the V Max. But you can see your foot pounds of energy while you're shooting. But here's the cool part: if I go next on the screen over here, I can see a bunch of stats. Um, probably the most important is average BC. Now that is the number I would plug into my ballistic software um, to to figure out exactly what my drop's going to be. And what's nice about average BC as a number is that every shot's going to deviate very slightly. You're going to get some slugs that are slightly wobbly or something and then your BC's lower and you get some for whatever reason that are ultra ultra stable and your BC is a bit higher but your average BC is going to be the number you want to use. So this chronograph allows you to quickly 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 find your actual BC, plug it into your software and you're done. Okay, we got a gong out there at about, well, it's a little bit over 200 meters. I actually don't know what the drop will be for this gun. I'm gonna give it, let's say half a mil. It might be too much. Three clicks. Let's give it three clicks and see what happens. 200 meters, 220 meters, something like that. Nailed it. 3,443 feet per second. Picked it up nicely. Let's give it a couple more. Cool. 3454 so yeah we're about 3440 3450 average and that's a really good speed for monkeys and baboons this is the one awesome load there you go guys that is the fx outdoors true ballistic chronograph it's a really good all-purpose solution for all your guns i've actually sold all my other chronographs except for the little uh fx radar air, air gun chronograph which is nice to have in a gun bag but this thing does everything. It's easy to use, doesn't require you to carry batteries around. I'm sure you'll see plenty more of this device on my channel in the future. And as far as I know, it is gonna be available very soon for a very reasonable price. So check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.